All right, guys, we got our drain pan from Vivor. Uh, show you here. V E V O R, tough tools, at half price. Um, it's a 17 gallon oil drain pan, electric pump, uh, 12 volt on the pump. It's got a screen here so you can't drop nothing down in your oil pan. No tools, no plugs, um, drain pipe plugs or anything. Got places to set stuff around the, as far as filters and drain plugs and stuff where it'll run into the tray. Uh, on wheels, uh, very maneuverable and everything. One thing I see that I kind of wished it had was a 110 pump instead of a 12 volt, just because you're going to have to have a battery. Um, I, I didn't read the description good when they said they was going to send it to me. I was just kind of expecting it to be a, uh, a 110 motor. Uh, might be an easy just to pull a cord out to wherever you want to pump it and hit plug into it and pump it out. But 12 volts okay, I guess. What I've got in mind to do, I've got a small, a uh, little small battery here. I can charge that battery up, and I think it would run enough to pump that out. I've always wanted a drain pan like this or to try one. Um, biggest reason is when I'm changing hydraulic oil. Uh, in my tractors, they hold, you know, 10 to 15 gallons, depending on, on which one it is. This way, this pan will hold that whole thing. Um, then, when I change on them internationals, and like that bus, the black bus, it holds 28 quarts, I believe. So, I need a good size drain pan, and I can change oil in mul from multiple vehicles at the same time. It'll pretty well can hold it. Then I can pump it out. Um, and I'll have to put oil in my barrels as often. But um, I'm going to include a little segment in here where I had some issue with this one. And in case anybody orders one, uh, you'll have an idea of what you need to do to get it put together. I'm going to, of course, I'll explain all my plans in, in that segment of the video. But uh, on that, you'll, you'll understand when you see it. I'll put it in next. Right here, I'm going to email the company and see what they recommend. But when I was putting the pump on, these holes were supposed to be where I've got it mounted now, according to the directions. These holes, um, it wouldn't work. I put it on over there, but everything is reversed from the way it needs to be. Um, I think what has happened when they've welded these tabs on, these tabs was pushed through from the wrong side. They're slotted right here. And they was pushed through from the wrong side and uh, welded. And they should have been sitting, sticking out this way. They should have been sticking out the other way, which when it was flipped, the uh, would that have made it right? Still don't know if that would have made it right, would it? Well, regardless of where the mess up was, I had to drill new holes to get it to work because it would not work on this side and there was no way to rotate this piece to where the, the bracket would be facing up and the pump mount correctly. So just something to be aware of. If you buy one of these, um, I'm going to contact them. Hopefully they will um, check their inventory and make sure that is corrected on the remainder of their products. Right here, you can see the way the pump's mounted and everything. And in this picture, you can see it's mounted correctly now, but it would not work without drilling them holes. So I'll contact them, and if they offer me any suggestions to recommend in the video, I will. Um, hopefully, you know, this was just a bum piece here quite a gut pass quality control or whatever and the rest of them's not like that i'd rather it go to me this way than somebody else but um if not they need to check them because that's kind of frustrating easy to roll around and fit under stuff and then you can you don't have to worry about you know like Right here, I could drain 
my oil, my fuel filters, and change the oil filter and not have to move the pan. It'll catch everything as big as that is. We'll go over here. I'm going to get me a better light so y'all can see and we'll drain oil. And there she goes. Draining right in there. Pretty good setup. All right. I got about two gallon of oil in there, maybe at the most. Um, I'm gonna pump it into a bucket only because I need to kind of upgrade my oil, used oil storage outside. I'm gonna be doing some changes. I got a bigger tank to pump it in. Um, they're gonna be putting out there. So I'm gonna put it in these buckets for now. Then what I'll do, I've got several five gallon buckets I've been putting oil in. Then once I get my bigger tank, um, I may end up pouring the buckets into this and pump it out of that into the, the big tank. But I'm going to try to get the big tank to where it'll set right outside the door and this hose will reach out there and it will um, pump in it from, from outside or from inside to outside and I won't have to roll the pan outside, if that makes any sense. So... <laughs> That funny looking oil that was in there, I had some that had uh, gas mixed in it. That's why it had that grayish color that I drained out the other day. Um, but that'll work good. That little battery, I think, had plenty of power. And then whatever oil's in the hose, I'll just lap back over here and let it drain out into the pan itself. But we'll change on Dad's truck and may include it in this same video if we get time. All right. Gonna change oil in Dad's truck. Roll our drain pan up under there. I'll have to position it once I get under it better. Well, I brought a battery powered light so y'all could see what was going on, and you'll never guess what happened. Batteries is dead. Drain pan fits under here excellent. Except for the fact I didn't have it pulled back far enough and I made a mess. You got this big of a drain pan and you try to open it up right at the end of it. Not too smart. That's the only thing I'm good at anymore is doing things that's not too smart.
see right there is why I kind of like this bigger pan. You can go ahead and while your oil's draining, you can, it's got enough sp space to drain your filter and stuff too. And not have to slide your pan over. I'm just going to get used to positioning it correctly. I should have had it under here farther when I first opened that drain plug up. That was that was completely my fault. Because it would not have missed the pan if I'd have had it slid under here like it should have been. Okay. Got a drain pan here. I got the screen moved so you can kind of see the oil. Um, I'm going to pump it into a bucket in my truck or in my RTV. And then that way I can load my drain pan back up. Um, so... So you're traveling up in it. Well, I'm back over here at the shop. Been doing some cleaning and rearranging and situating. And let me show you what I've got set up for this old program. Okay. I had a bunch of 55 gallon drums there and buckets of five gallon, with five gallon buckets and all that. Well, I cleaned all that up. Got this tank here. Uh, it was given to me. Uh, been used for heating oil. So. Brought it home a few days ago, and this was my intentions to put here, even before getting the the pump. But now that we've got the drain, the Vivor drain pan, uh, this is gonna work out pretty good as long as the pump holds out. But um, what I'm gonna do now, I've got three five gallon buckets of used oil right here. I'm gonna pour that into this and let it pump it into the tank and. Uh, See how that works out. I'll go ahead and pour a five gallon bucket in, and while it's uh, pumping it out, I'll pour the next one in. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think that is used oil. That's hydraulic oil, but it's. Uh, it's used, it's out of that Kubota. So, we'll give her another try. I mean, this thing pumps a pretty good volume of oil. I was gonna pull it out there and show you, but I got it stuck down in there a pretty good ways. So it'd hold itself. a good setup i can just roll that thing right to the door or stick my hose outside and pump it in and my plans are to uh well i'd like to get a used oil burner but i don't know if i'll ever be able to but i'd like to um but anyways be sure to check out vivor uh i'll have some links in the description uh check them out Please use my links if you go on there to buy anything. Uh, that way maybe I can get a little commission off of it and they'll see that the channel is being productive to them and get more stuff to try out. But uh, I'm definitely excited about this 
17 gallon drain pan there'll be a link to it uh, be a link to my hay spears that I had ordered which I'd pur purchased personally before any of this came about and the small toolboxes that I mounted on the bed of my white international so I'll try to include links to all that stuff and y'all go check them out if you think it's something you're interested in as you can see there it's already sucked it down there you can start seeing the bottom of the pan I had uh, probably about eight gallons in there it's moving it out quick so as long as that pump will hold up um, I'm gonna be well pleased with this outfit appreciate y'all watching hope you enjoyed this hope it's something might, might be some of y'all might be interested in and uh, we'll talk to you later